Hey film fans, my name is David. This is Film Collector Archive and today I will be showing you the titles I picked up from the Kino Lorber Summer Sale. Kino Lorber recently had their summer 2023 sale. I was able to pick up a few titles. Didn't go really hard on this uh, sale or anything like that, but picked up uh, three titles and then one of these is a kind of a cheat because it actually wasn't a part of the sale, but I'll, I'll show you what that is here in a minute. But I just wanna go ahead and dive right in. Um, the, three, the three titles that I picked up that were sale items, I, these are films that I've already seen and obviously really enjoy. Um, first up, this is not Kino Lorber proper, but this is from the Cohen Film Collection. Uh, this features a new 2K restoration starring the great Joan Crawford, Jack Palance, and Gloria Graham, so really fantastic cast, like all three of those actors. Um, this is actually uh, nominated for four Academy Awards and is directed by David Miller. This is Sudden Fear. Make sure I don't get any uh, glare for you on there. Uh, Sudden Fear is a great film noir title um, and is a kind of one of these rediscovered classics, one that you don't hear uh, a whole ton about. Uh, but this is from 1952 with a runtime of 110 minutes. Um, and in terms of uh, disc features here, uh, so not, not totally stacked, but we do get an audio commentary by film historian Jeremy Arnold, author of Turner Classic Movies, The Essentials, 52 Must See Movies, and why they matter. I was gonna maybe try and reach over and grab that. I've got that book right here on my on my shelf. Really great if you haven't uh, gone in on the Turner Classic Movies library there of uh, books. They have some wonderful books out there, um, including the uh, you know the Essential Films uh, series. Anyways, um, and then we have a re-release trailer. So. The audio commentary and then the re-release trailer round out the special features on this disc. Again, Sudden Fear uh, with uh, Joan Crawford. And I actually just saw this for the first time. Um, it was after the summer sale started and it was one of the sale items and I saw the name of Joan Crawford, Jack Palance, and Gloria Graham um, and uh, watched the film and just really, uh, really loved it. Um, this one I saw, let's see, probably a couple years ago now, um, and it's a film directed by the great Billy Wilder. Um, you know, glad to have another Billy Wilder film in my collection. This stars Tyrone Power, Marlena Dietrich, Charles Lawton, another great cast. Uh, directed by Billy Wilder, this is Witness for the Prosecution. If you have not seen this film, it comes highly recommended. It's really great, really entertaining. Um, not, you know, my absolute favorite Wilder film, um, but his filmography obviously is, is just so stacked. But it's up there, it's a really good movie. This is from 1957, uh, black and white with a runtime of 116 minutes. Um, and we actually get a special feature on here, Billy Wilder discussing Witness for the Prosecution with director uh, Volker Schlondorf in German and English with English subtitles, and then we get an original theatrical trailer. So not a lot of supplements there, but that, uh, whoops, uh, that discussion with Billy Wilder, that will be an interesting watch for sure. And I like the, I like the cover art on this one too. Um, so that is witness for the prosecution. Uh, this next one, so they had a few, well, more than a few of their 4K titles on sale. This is one of their more recent releases, one I had not picked up yet, a film I had not seen yet, and so this is another one that I watched uh, very recently for the first time. It's, it's I, I've always been aware, of course, of the film, um, but just never gotten around to it, and I watched it, and it was just an absolute blast. This stars the great Burt Reynolds. This is The Longest Yard. I had so much fun with this. It's just great 1970s fun. Nothing too uh, involved or serious. It's just a great time. Uh, if, if you like 70s films at all, 
and you've never seen this, um, this is a very, very easy recommendation. Um, so this is 1974 with a runtime of uh, 121 minutes. And this, <clears throat> this comes with a few more uh, supplements here than these other two discs. We get an audio commentary by critic, uh, film critic Alan Silver and James uh, Ursini, authors of Whatever Happened to Robert Aldrich, His Life and His Dreams. Audio commentary by star Burt Reynolds. Oh, very cool. And writer-producer Albert S. Ruddy. Boy, that's, uh, you know, with Burt Reynolds being on that commentary track, that's just an instant uh, must-watch or must-listen. Um, Doing Time on the Longest Yard featurette and Unleashing the Mean Machine featurette, as well as a theatrical trailer. I uh, was glad to get the slipcover on my 4K here. My my 4K collection with uh, Kino Lorber is growing. Um, they're doing just a an outstanding job. I love the titles that they're selecting. Um, now is this one of the, no this is Paramount, because they've done a lot of uh, title, MGM titles, this one's Paramount, but just really love the, the work that Kino Lorber is doing in their 4K line. So in my opinion, you know, I've only seen the film once, but in my opinion, this is a must-own from their 4K library. Really looking forward to uh, seeing the 4K transfer. So this is a brand new HDR Dolby Vision Master from a 4K scan of the original uh, 35 millimeter camera negative. So great source on this one. I'm sure it's gonna look fantastic. Great, great film here. And last but not least, this was not a part of the sale but I was poking around on the site and I had forgotten that they announced this, uh, that this would be coming out, so it kind of fell off my radar and it showed on the um, new release section of their site. And when this was announced, I was instantly in, I knew this was a set that I wanted to purchase, um, but it, again, it kind of fell off my radar and then I saw it on their list and just immediately threw it in the cart so I paid, you know, I guess the full, like, full price. It wasn't on sale. Um, so I think I paid probably, I don't know, close to $40 for this. And this is from the Kino Classics line. This is from the Library of Congress. Uh, this is Soundies, the Ultimate Collection. Uh, so from my understanding, what what is meant by Soundy, this is basically... Uh, music videos before music videos and there are uh, and, and this is a thicker kind of a collector's set um, and man this is right up my alley I love I love music uh, for the most part there's some that don't quite hit with me but I love music documentaries music festival uh, type documentaries I mean I'm thinking of you know, looking over here at my Criterion collection, like I, I recently watched uh, Festival. That is a fantastic release from Criterion. One of the great, you know, kind of music focused releases from Criterion. And uh, this Soundies collection uh, just sounded really fascinating. Let me just read you a brief snippet here. Soundies have been called, uh, here we go, Soundies have been called the music videos of the 1940s, that, but that doesn't begin to describe their cultural importance. It's true that they feature a remarkable range of talent from big band luminaries like Duke Ellington and Count uh, Bassey, uh, Bassey, sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, to the uh, then emerging stars like Doris Day and Ricardo uh, Montalban, the lesser known artists of the American nightclub circuit, but Soundies are also a rich, largely overlooked chronicle of American popular culture during and just after World War II, produced for coin-operated jukeboxes in neighborhood bars and taverns, Soundies have an uncanny way of revealing what Americans were thinking about topics that weren't discussed openly from sexuality to ethnicity and race. So this features uh, content from 1940 to 1946. Um, and, I, and I love this inclusion of an illustrated 44-page booklet with essays by Susan Delson Ellen C. Scott and Mark Cantor. Uh, filmed introductions by series curator Susan Delson and, and uh, Ina Archer. 
media conser uh, conservationist, National Museum of African American History and Culture. Inside the uh, Panoram, a filmed interview with Mark Cantor, author of The Soundies of History and Catalog of Jukebox Film Shorts of the 1940s. Um, which, you know, as, as, I, as I study, you know, the contents here, that actually might be a, a book that I seek after. And uh, finally, From the Vaults, a filmed interview with Matthew Barton, curator of recorded sound at the National Audiovisual Conservation Library, uh, excuse me, Conservation Center at the Library of Congress, and Mike uh, Maschen, head of the Moving Image section of the Library of Congress. Um, and this is a, a multi-disc set. I think it's probably about, I, th I think it's three, three discs. Um, but the, the credits on the back here, we've got Kino Classics, Library of Congress, UCLA Library of Film and Television Archive. Um, so a lot of great uh, names coming in on this one and just something I could not say no to. Seems like a nice involved set here that includes, again, the booklet, uh, some nice extras and a, a very interesting history. I was not aware of the of uh, you know the soundies and you know or, or even I didn't even know that term or that phrase or that you know that name. And so uh, definitely looking forward to having this be kind of a, a learning experience for me on this kind of corner of music history, of cultural history that I was not aware of. Um, so very cool release here from Kino Lorber via their Kino Classics line. Um, so just to review, so we have the Soundy set, of course. Uh, Burt Reynolds, the 4K release of The Longest Yard. The great Billy Wilder in Witness for the Prosecution. And finally, Sudden Fear, a great addition for... Uh, my film noir collection and yours if you end up uh, wanting to pick this one up. Uh, during the sale, these were, uh, I think this and Witness for the Prosecution were $10. And then uh, The Longest Yard was $17.99, which is fantastic for, you know, one of their 4K releases. So that does it. That's what I picked up during the summer sale. I've, I've seen some other videos up in the community on... Uh, you know, covering the sale as well. But let me know down in the comments if you were able to pick up any titles. I'm always curious to know what you guys pick up during these sales. And if you are new to this channel and you like talking film and film collecting, that type of thing, I do invite you to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and finally, the bell icon. That will, of course, notify you when I upload new videos in the future. And until next time, I hope you're able to watch a lot of great films.